Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Zanny, and I've got a friend. It is me again, the Glorious Stump King. And we'll be your hosts for this afternoon. Let's see, last time hey. we earned ourselves title of Master Duelist. Now I'm curious what the next quest is. Let me see. Jack Learn a fifth spell. Come again? <laughs> oh. Learn a fifth spell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got a decent amount of spells right now, or at least as far as this part of the story goes. What was that? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, it looks like we... Oh, we still need to do that little quest. Fine, I'll go practice the spell. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Is his voice supposed to be echoing? Oh no, is it is the audio echoing on your end? Only the 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 kids. Not like your not your uh Harry Potter and a wig character, but uh, the <laughs> other one. No, it's not. It's not supposed to be. Oh wait, this like maybe I mean Oh, I think it might I'm that probably was me. Wait, no. I have an idea. I'm gonna tell him later and then Actually, I'll talk to him again. I might come back later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. Yeah, he is definitely ugly. Let's see if I talk to somebody else. Is there anybody Rebellion. else nearby? Oh, that's new. Oh, did you pause it? Did I pause it? No. I can edit it just... out. As far as the stream goes, I can st I can click to a different screen when I go be right back. Oh, okay. There you go. Now it's wow. live. I say you're mu you're muted on my end for the Twitch view. For me, I that's oh, not no. wasn't Wait, that. what? The Twitch isn't picking me up? No, I, I mute you so I don't get double. Oh, okay. I look, I'm sorry, because it's easier for me to talk to somebody when they can see their face. Okay, so let's try talking to him again, <laughs> see if he still echoes. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Okay, now, now she, uh, at least on Discord, it's like they're both e echoing. Um, well, if I cancel the audio on uh, Discord, you'll only hear her on Twitch. Actually, uh, I might come back later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. I guess I, was, I don't have the audio on the Twitch. So it was like, I don't know if that's coming through. It's like, uh, I guess mute mute yourself briefly on Discord. Okay. I'm assuming you can still hear me on Twitch. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Actually, I might come back later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Discord. Okay, could you hear me at all during that? I okay, it's like I was still hearing it like through Discord after your, not your voice, but the game. And I noticed that because what it was not like echoey, it was like uh, delayed and then I while they were still talking, I muted the Twitch one and noticed that the audio was still coming from the Discord even though you yourself was like muted. Essentially, it was like Discord's picking up twice somehow. Possibly because when I shared screen, I also told it to share audio. I think that's probably why. Okay. In that case, I have an idea. Okay, now you should see the screen, yes? Yep. Okay, so now, theoretically, if I do this, you should see the game. Yes. Okay. You'll all be watching the game through <laughs> the uh, Twitch one. As you can't hear it at this point. Oh, uh, you're right. I can't hear the game. The question is, if I talk to him now, will you get an echo? I'm leave, not I'm watching the stream on that one. I'm going okay, to was... limb and assume you're the only one viewing it right now, as far as the Twitch stream is concerned. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which is funny, cause when I stopped watching the stream on Discord, mm -hmm. I could hear I could hear, hear the audio. But when you, when you watch the stream on Twitch, do you hear in-game audio? I would have to turn on, unmute it on that. Oh. And I was like, like I said, I could, if you just leave it on the phone call, it's like on Discord, I can just turn on the volume on the Twitch one. Okay, I guess my next question, oh, my next question oh, wait, is, are you I forgot. I would hear myself. Also, my next question is, are you hear, Are you still hearing an echo whenever Lucian talks? Yeah. While watching this, while watching the stream, or? I don't know. You, you you said at some point you could hear him twice. Yeah, it was like I've we're been bouncing back between things, but I don't know. Talk to him again. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Okay, I, everything's normal. 
Okay, so you're only hearing everything once now? Yep. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Remember that Please stand by. The spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Just as side things, like my idea with the Misfits campaign aim was uh, just using a bunch of non uh, uh, optimized char pre made characters for people. Okay, so let's see. I'm doing this wrong. I want to do this one, this one. Incendio, Leviosa. Good one. Next. Me or the, the doll? No, the <laughs> game. Let's <laughs> mm. say, for a first example, it's like you use Charles the Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. He's a. His um, mate, his official class is Sorcerer. Incendio. His charisma is 12. He actually is proficient in medium armor, huh. and like he can fight. He actually can fight in melee. So he is a. So sec is a psycho pomp bloodline. So he is the divine spell list. So a lot of his spells are more like uh, buffs and things that don't require <laughs> to, like a high a high uh, spell casting DC. I see. Why are you not? Kind of like, kind of like its main weapon's the scythe, which is with his strength of sixteen. It's a at level two. It's a plus seven to hit and does one d ten plus three damage. Fascinating. But then he, but then he can cast magic weapon on it. <laughs> so it becomes a plus a uh, plus eight to hit that does. 2d10 plus 3 damage. Dag Oops. Abbott. Accio. Having some wand issues? Yes, I'm trying to do this without actually following where my hands are. Spit. Every time I do that one, no, I don't want to skip it. For all wand misfunctions, I make a tiny little blue potion. Incendio, that was something. <laughs> okay, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing is the problem. <laughs> Incendio. Good luck with me talking to you. Nah. Right? Incendio. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I think I got the idea. Incendio. It's the stupid Incendio spell. Incendio. I did yeah. Incendio. Why are you mad at me? Yeah, I see. Charles. Incendio. Charles is also like he has a laborer background, so he has like things like hefty holler. <laughs> it's like fight, he does, fighter dedication, but see his little bio info. Like yeah, you know, for a little brief thing for people to build, make a character on. Yeah. Likes what, a beer after a successful day, cloud watching, and working together as a accomplish a common goal. Just like liars. The undead and help. fish. Oh, stop. Don't <laughs> make me blush. Seriously, it's like, uh, bears it's not really being good enough. And then there's a little you again, even though you won the tournament already. I'm glad bit of background. Charles is the only one in the simple life, but his natural magic awakened as a young adult. Already being a middle child, he didn't want to add to his family burdens and went to adventure work. Yeah, so he basically is a sorcerer who I don't know, really know what I'm doing with terms of magic. But I know how to use. I know how to hit things, and That's use my muscles. Why would a sorcerer not know how to use magic, though? Because he was a he was a country bumpkin. Oh. He technically, he like I didn't say he didn't know how to use it. It just doesn't know it how to do it well. Wouldn't be a sorcerer if he didn't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, I haven't unlocked that blue flame yet, but I have unlocked this one. Yeah, I think he has like one of the best. Like, bus ACs of the Misfits with an AC of 19. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when I actually get access to my broom. That'll come in handy. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, the good thing is I'm able to use a bridge. <laughs> Saw that deer out of the corner of my eye. Speaking of... I wonder... I didn't realize this was a hunting game. I think I should have been playing... 
playing a little bit of medieval dynasty. Did you just get Fran trapped in a fairy ring or something? No, that was just the game telling me to wait here for a minute while the ghost I'm waiting on showed up. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. <coughs> Keep your eyes open for a bird bite. Are you doing a thing for him? Say, I'm sorry? I think it's Latin or Greek. Uh, as you can are imagine, you, isn't this a request for the student or something? Shall we? A uh, former student. He's dead, but yeah. And he's like, oh, I, I don't... I may be reluctant to go in places that actually will help you do what I need you to do. No, Stone it's more Ridge along the lines of he died by beheading and he's cool, reluctant to go back to where see. he was beheaded. You've been very helpful. Thank you. But what, 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 what works? I mean, and you're a ghost trapped in like some sort of purgatory hell. Surprising you really can't get worse than like what your current situation. <laughs> What, you're gonna lose your head again? The more I'm right. remembering. Probably best I leave like, you to it. You already trapped on Earth, on Earth for like, I guess ever, because you know it's ghosts are not really explained very well in freaking Potterverse. True. Speaking of which, I will be back as far as Twitch is concerned. Okay, sorry about that. That took longer than I expected it to. Uh, okay. Um, go this way. Let's see. Well, that happened. <laughs> but yeah, like with you know, Hunter's Edge against their hunted prey. The I mean, person Hunter Edge flurry instead of the normal like minus five, minus ten on multi attack penalty, it's minus three and minus six. And it applies to both like. Melee and range weapons, which her range weapon is a sling. Incendio. Turn around. Um, what the heck are you aiming at? Oh. Potato, it's spooders. <laughs> well, it's dead now. Oh, they just wanted a hug. Right? Uh, apparently, spiders, large spiders, can growl. I and learned that earlier today. And scream, apparently. I... Is it a scream or is it a hiss? I knew that they hiss, but for, before today, I was like, I like, mean, large spiders can, can apparently growl. As I saw, dude, you feed a, cock, a live cockroach to his tarantula, and the thing, like, clamped down on it, and it freaking growled. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, they do have mouths, you know. Uh, I... Mountain, go to fish. Yes. Granted. That's like a prominent. Th that is a prominent feature of fish. <laughs> but you don't hear them making noises. Right. With their mouths. <laughs> All right. Unless it's big mouth Billy Bass. Hey, there we it's go. Like There's a little difference. That I mean, that was like a big like novelty like I like gift thing. When was it popular? I say when we were from when we were children to teenagers, and still kind of is not as popular, but it still is like known. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll like search. You might rec you probably might recognize it when you see it. Possibly. Oh, there's the bird bath I was looking for. Intramuros. Well, well, well. Check this out. Whoa! Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew uh, you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But I was looking for a fish. Oh yeah, are you? F oh yes, go beat up those goblins who are fighting for their freedom. Fighting for their freedom, indeed. They're trying to kill me. Yes, as a member of the oppressive class. The oppressive ruling class. I was like, 
<laughs> we established it this last time that I was here. Oh, yeah. Was like, <laughs> that, they, that this game is essentially... The, th the story of this game, plot of this game is that you are suppressing a slave revolt. Discord is on a significant delay, so I have gotten no audio from the game. Oh, that's ironic. It tends to, for whatever reason, the audio decreases during combat. I don't get that. And I honestly. But it's like. And I don't know. The Discord is. Either. I don't know. The Discord is super laggy. So it's like. But I sent you the um, Big Mouth Billy Bass. Ah. Find the missing pages. All of a sudden, we are playing Slender the Arrival. how big this place is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Ow. That was weird. Yeah, I can't hear the game anymore. <laughs> it's not doing much loud-wise anyway. <laughs> hmm. These runes must have something to do with opening this door. Yeah. Oh, there. The there's, there's yeah. the in-game music isn't really doing much right now. Even I can't oh. hear it. Oh, okay, so it's not just a me thing. Yeah, no. But there's oh, a hey. nine pew pew sounds. I nine actually guessed sounds. the right pattern. That's why you need <laughs> more complicated locking mechanisms. <laughs> yeah. Someone didn't want casual visitors down there. Oh, yeah, good trick. Is your Twitch chat supposed to just stay there permanently for the last few messages? I am not sure how to get rid of it, but I think it's just because it's a it's no, a I meant on your not on the chat not on the chat room side, but the your playing screen side is just hanging been hanging there. Yeah, I know. They tend to stick around for whatever reason. I assume it has to do with a chat widget, but I mean it's been a while since I set up this particular system. And I don't remember how to adjust it. I mean, worst case scenario, I could probably figure out how to disable it. Sassy, don't kill the neighbor's dogs. I'm sorry? Oh, uh, my, my do dog likes to th will throw hands with anything that isn't, that is quadrupedal. Makes sense. Especially if your dog is as small as she appeared in the pictures you showed me. She is a chihuahua dachshund mix. So she has the confidence of a, chihuah a chihuahua and the viciousness of a dachshund. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a matter of what they like, what my late mother would call little dog syndrome. Oh, it's a big scary world for them. It's like, but she's like, she loves people, especially men. Understandable. Especially big, big men. As they have bigger laps. I was gonna say big as in tall or big as in wide. Yes. Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> That's from what my experience. The answer is yes. <laughs> like I got, I get a little jealous when my friend comes over because he's both, like he's a big, he's a big guy too, but he's both, but he's taller and he used to be a football player, so he's tall, Holy hell. taller and. Sorry. That yeah. sounds like paganism. <laughs> That's Greek mythology. Technically. Same thing. <laughs> Touche. Except, except it's a joke. There one. Well, yeah. So I, was, I was quoting a Disney movie. I know. I was just making being facetious. I know. Me. Yeah. Ah, oh, come <laughs> Go on. Go snipe your snipe your your cute little spider things. I'm attempting to, but I'm, apparently there's nothing within range that oh, I can throw at those. them. Ugh. There we go. I, I, this is like the worst spellcaster game. In terms of like magic abilities. Protego, stupefy. I mean, it's not designed to be D and D. It don't have to be, but there's like literally games of way your character is not a wizard and you have more magic abilities. Ah, Dishonored. Good game. Yeah. So I think you have more mat. I think you have as much or more spells. In Dishonored than you have with your 
you're a wizard. Um, the short answer is no. Currently, yes. But ultimately, no. Dishonored 2, maybe? It's like, because there, you get a lot, lot that you, you get access to more than you will you ever use. Same. Based on your play style. Same here, but I mean... Another puzzle. That's why I just go underground. Could solve this. So can I. Go underground? Stupefy. Yeah, you didn't usually see that. It would like it freaking dove like an Olympic diver into the freaking stone. Maybe. They ain't spiders and earth elementals. <laughs> <laughs> they have a burrowing speed. Watch out! Whoa. <sighs> Bur bur never underestimate burrowing speed. I think I think ghouls have a burrowing speed of five feet. That's just enough for a shallow grave. Or you just could, didn't see that one that was far away. Yeah, I did. I knew it was there. Big memory. I just missed it. Well, that happened. I was say is like it wasn't crossable before. I guess not. Question is now where am I going? I don't think I'm going the right way. I don't remember. It's been too long. Eh, yeah, your memory is a fall. Uh, memory is not a thing you should rely on, anyways. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Your entire, even though your entire like sense of self and like you is based entirely on memories that are entirely fictitious. It's like. That just start, started an existential crisis for those who, if you look into it. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> how human memory, how human memory works. It, it's not like a computer. Every time you remember something, your brain recreates the memory. So it gets altered based on your current emotional state. As your emotions are required, emotions are required for memory because they are essentially your, like, uh, they're like your tags on a file. Hence like, the Mandela effect. Yeah, which... Now, that, that was a slight... The Mandela effect is slightly overrated. And exaggerated. Slightly? I mean, it's, but I mean... Slight. I... Whoa! Uh, uh, Speeders. I will say for what it's worth, I have fallen victim to it myself. Oh, it's like the other one I got. That is the name of the nut, like the actual name of the uh, Nutter Butters. Like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're actually called like Nutty Buddies. Yeah, or like I saw a thing on Facebook that had me questioning my sanity at first, and then I remembered, oh yeah, no, it actually is this way. Um, it was for Fruit of the Loom. They claimed that there was never a, a cornucopia involved in the logo. Except except there was. Exactly we, there was. I know there was. It used to be. Like we had it's like some people still have clothes from the that time. Exactly. Incendio. Wrong <laughs> spell. Like Accio. how about when tricks actually taste had taste. <laughs> how did I don't I... know if you were allowed. You were on the edge, and you flipped. Oh, crap. Now that I'm locked on, it won't... Oh. Cast a different... I'll say you just cast a different spell. Well, that's what I tried to do, and nothing happened, and then I remembered, oh, right, let go of it. And it looks like you just have to go back to... Isn't the ledge that you're trying? Reach over here, yes, but... Oh, wait a minute. If I go this way... And more spiders. In lost. Oh, right. I forgot you can go up here. Scale. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dawn would have been interested in this lodge. But there's no sign of him. Right, before I move off of Emma the Fearsome, she has the acrobat dedication. Which gives her an impressive plus nine to acrobatics. Nice. At level two. Now, one of my favorite Im like images, one was McCloud the Stout. Uh huh. It's like, uh, cause he look, cause he's like a no, a no neckbeard dude. 
I don't know much neck beard looking mother. It's like, yeah, he's essentially he is a rogue with a dexterity of twelve. His best stats are con, int, and charisma, all at sixteen. Nice. He's he uses the the lesser utilized mastermind of uh, rat rogue racket. And she makes up for his lack of like dexterity or strength as his strength is eight. He's a no he's a gnome, so he's like it's like for his he has a sorcerer dedication. Uh -huh. And my and minor magic from Rogue, so he actually has like four cantrips. Nice. I don't Ray of Frost, Go! gouging claw, shield and presentation. Presentation so, is one of my favorite cantrips. I would say, like, this, you might, I don't know, you might, despite being, like, a snobby little rich boy, you might, you might actually like, it's like McLeod the Stout, has a lot of skills, has the most languages, because, one, gnomes apparently start off with three languages, automatic, just, like, baseline. I'm a complete moron, I somehow stumbled upon where I need to go by accident. Hey, if it works, it works. True. Have at me! Oh. <laughs> yeah, he has. Oh, yeah, one of, my favorite, one of my favorite things. Like, it's a racial thing. You got Razzle Dazzle. He has the ra the Razzle Dazzle feet. Huh. Which, which, as a free action, basically, if you did something that blind or dazzled an opponent, you just increase the duration by one round. Cool, oh, boy! Oh lord, he comes! Wow. Oh, there's two of them! Did you just call, call lightning on that thing? Yep. You ain't, I thought you were a wizard. I am. You got... I say that burnt to a crisp spider was just hanging right next to you. Oh, there it is. I, was like, I told you the spiders were diving into the ground. Gotcha. Goodbye. Boom. <laughs> I mean, what's that's, I don't think it they had spells like that in the books and the movies. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. They don't. This she's using ancient magic. Woohoo! Hey look! I made a bridge! It only took about 10 seconds. You ain't Frankie. I must make it Come on. To Jackdaw's Super! Pages. I was making an Atlantis reference. Meet again, little Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping those pages oh, yeah. safe, little dears. What? I got a feeling I'm about to awaken a whole bunch of crap. Oh, those suspicious-looking statues, right? There's something beyond this room. Oh, so you can't put statues in a dungeon without the players being super Woo! suspicious. Protego, superfly. I'd say, if those are gonna awaken, why do you wanna go to aggro them? <laughs> Expelliarmus ought to disarm you, brutes. Expelliarmus, where are you? Uh, not that one. This one? Nope, that's Lumos. I know it's here, I'm just an idiot. Oh, I already have the spell equipped. I'm an idiot. Your words. Stupefied. 
All I heard was a blah. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Was it was that response to the game or like? Uh, yeah, Greg the Mighty is a half fleeing barbarian. Heads up. Barbar barbarian with a strength of 10. A bar. Wait, what? He's a half fleeing barbarian. Okay. <laughs> he's, he, I mean, Dragon. You still get the. Uh, use a finesse weapon like a, this is a spike chain. Nice. So, and, uh,. I mean, with the Dragon Instinct, so his damage is a D8 plus 4 acid damage. Good try, bucko. But he's also, like, a super, like, charming dude. Because he has, like, the martial dedication. Uh-huh. And Bon Mott. Bon Mott, nice. So, it's like, it is an expert in diplomacy. Hey, so. And though so it has a tremendous amount of hit points still. Oh, <laughs> like everyone else is in the mid twenties and he is like has thirty six. Well, I mean those three were the bosses of this piece, but well, that's unnerving. What's happening? Hmm? Good question. She said, that's unnerving. What's happening? Ah, uh, I have, like, no game audio. Oh. Had for a while. Right, you turned it off on Twitch. I'm not thinking. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. I mean, I can turn it down up to, like, super low. Heads up. But then I can still hear myself. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what do we hear? Wow. Another Alice in Wonderland insurance. Right? Oh, well, technically, the through the looking the glass. Flood? Oh. Man. Flooding task. How am I being protected? What sort of magic? Oh, don't worry. This? Just, uh,. Just, uh, it's just a drown, drown you of children. I was gonna say, just put on your plot armor. Oh yes, you can't have drowning children in whatever rate rating really this game has. Ignoring the fact that you are a, it's what like a, this place? it's like on the side of slavers and whatnot. I do have to say, like, he's an undyne, so he's water elemental. Kinda he does have this very nasty once per day uh, base ability called Salt Wound. <laughs> so, if, so if an enemy who's who's been damaged mm -hmm. attacks you, you can as a reaction you can use the Salt Wound, which does which they have to make a fortitude save or take. 1d6 persistent acid damage and nice. is sick in one, one by the pain. On a critical failure, and they instead take 2d6 persistent acid damage and is sick in two. Nice. I mean, there's no partials, but like it's still like a very nasty once per day ability. Oh, uh, let's see what this wall has to say. It's Ain't that a painting? Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Racklam. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have I assume you are the chosen now, one. 
right? Our ability gives us a unique You're relationship with actually more with accurate all than you realize. Magic. They use that we can term. Access expressions of magic that few others can. We actually use that term. Opportunities will arise. That's just like throwing subtlety out the window. Talent. Do yeah. not squander them. I won't, Professor. I mean, to be fair. We have much to discuss. They, but they got first, caught pretty quickly with the, in a certain like, you know, here. <laughs> anti Semitism on the pedestal. bits. I don't have the book with like, me. It was like mm, shortly after the game came out. Unfortunate. Mm. I'm afraid we must so it's like not like they are going well. Salty is the, the, great, the people who created the strong suits. Ah, uh, that explains why the game got a bit of backlash. Interesting. Wait, yeah, we had this conversation before. Again, short term. Uh, basically, one of the goblin items, artifacts, mm -hmm. is a frick is a Jew is a Jewish horn, <laughs> and it comes. Nice. From, you know, the, I don't remember what it's at the top of my head what it's what it's called, the book but right uh, it also was we tied to a specific date, the book is in place. to an actual historical event. Now I gotta go back to Hogwarts and go find a book. Wrong button. That every time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're not finished. The. Or tra well, be more here. They not transcribed. The three that three the last three myth misfits include. Albert the Rock, who's a muscle wizard. I made a muscle wizard. Okay. So you have like, a spell sword, basically. No, he's a muscle wizard. He uses his fists. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> but you just got focus on actually transmit Tation primarily and abjuration. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my You essentially have like almost a he's almost like a DBZ style type of monk. And also having the monk dedication helps too. Am I not able to unlock this door, I guess? Oh, it Bam. just did it. That's fine. Hey, well you got spells like jump. So you can immediately do anime style jumps. Oh. Right. You need You just started jumping. <laughs> Useful for pushing objects <laughs> Complete the required. When I say <laughs> jump, you say how high <laughs> uh, about this mus <laughs> the muscle this muscle is for house building. Which also I found the most hilarious new cantrip. Mm. Timber. Timber! You, li you literally, yeah, you literally summon a dead tree to fall over. Uh, okay. That's the that's the cantrip. That's you funny. create a small dead tree in your space that falls over on anyone in its, pa in its path. It's a 15 foot line <laughs> spell. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I need to go get a focus potion, acquire a Maximus and a Rodus potion, and use them simultaneously. Lovely. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, so Albert is essentially a more DBZ style, like monk, you know, his class is wizard. Uh huh. So, he, and the only downside is AC kind of, is kind of sucky at 17. It's not horrendous. I've seen worse at level two. It's like. AC seventeen with mage armor. It's like he can he's still like offensively he does pretty well. It does plus seven to hit and a one D six plus three damage, which isn't bad. Which where I which in like when he's level four he'll get uh, access to stances and then he'll be even more damaging in the melee. It's like, but uh, he has like the with phase bolt. He basically has the key blast mm. or electric arc as well. Yeah, <laughs> I realized I'm going and or 
Fucking Chiro and Fucking Chiroken 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 Oh yeah, okay. Or I keep think wait, is that wait, is that the fireball one or is that the uppercut one? Uh, I think I'm confused the, in my head. The uppercut is Shoryuken. The fireball is the Hadouken. Oh, Hadouken! Yeah, 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 there you go. I knew. I felt like I was mixing them up, but you got burning hands for your Hadouken. And the hilarious part is, I have very little knowledge of that particular game. The second edition? No. Um. Oh, Street Fighter. Thank you. Street That's Fighter. Just... Nerd osmosis. Fair. Uh, do I want to do flying say that, now? There's a lot of like nerd stuff that I never got into that I know about just through nerd osmosis. That's fair. Um, how the Let's heck is it? I got, well grab a broom and we shall get started. I got Darcy the Menace. Base baseline class is a fighter. But she focuses entirely on alchemy and making bombs. Everyone, please welcome our students to our flying class. Yep. Because guess what? Bombs are technically martial weapons. It's like, yeah. So, it's like, yeah, she does have her sword cane. Her attack bonus to attack with a bomb, like an alchemy bomb, is a plus nine at level two. We'll leave Assume. that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi yep. Tengu. Like... Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those How to make, her, pressure, like, fighter a different type of terrifying. Up, make them access to, to elk, to lots of alchemy. And rest your way let's just... So basically, have Throwing. a fighter take levels in Artificer and, uh... Thank you. Oh, uh, and this, this is a uh, second edition, so they there's dedications instead. There. It's like her dedication is alchemist. Up. 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 Yeah, I called the broom to me. That one leg over, so there's a leg on That is a knobby head for a broom. Side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I love how they call out the fact that you're not supposed to use high saddle. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I mean, to be fair, fair like, when, like in this time period, Good. roughly, now, like when all of them when lesson, not be fly through each wait, ring in the no, car. actually, I don't know that. Do it's like care. because I'm the trying to remember, like when. I, I think this is, might have been close to the time where it was fashionable for women to look mannish, and that's when they started wearing high heel boots. Mm. Yes, high heels started as a fashion guys, statement yeah. when it was fashionable to look more mannish. Yes, I know. I think I'm getting the Because <laughs> high the high heel boots were for were essentially rider boots. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with or, but basically, exercise. Let me closer to what we would know as cowboy boots. True. Just not that particular not in that particular style, but like the well, same style of heel and stuff. We'll take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. I say this is like some awkward fly. This is yeah. like super this is super, like super uh, Superman, Superman for the nice day for a fly. <laughs> Yes. And I'm going the wrong way. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I say, why is your? Oh, it was just flipped upward. I'm like, why is your pant? You have like a cut in your coat for your pants. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I'm also aware that I have very little control over this broom. I know there's a way to zoom, but I can't remember how to do it. Or not zoom, but like, uh, do a speed boost. Whoa. Our aquatic like sprint, you mean? To make an yeah. Appearance once in a while. Seconds. Brilliant. 
of the run. So the, and then the last one of the untranscribed ones is the last one I made, Dudley the Scribe. Dudley the Scribe. He is an orc champion. And I made all the stuff like focus like because I yeah, but it, he's it took some inspiration from Goblin Slayer for one their like oh, in game like uh deities. You seem to the idea the, yeah, the, having the idea that there's well two enough. gods of like knowledge. You're ready for something a bit more like one is be knowledge with like myself. wisdom and study and the other one's like a mad like a more of a madness god where like oh it doesn't care who it bestows intelligence and knowledge to it just fucking does it <laughs> for good or ill oh someone's wishing you an amazing day and then left <laughs> about to begin follow closely now because that message just showed up and the viewer count is still yeah that viewer count they literally it's like i saw it appear and i looked down and the viewer count was still one wow <laughs> i mean in their defense i can't really see that very well but then also in their defense as i've said before I'm effectively pretty much legally blind. Ah! Ah! You're living the quest here! Wow, ah. that's a short... That was a very short counter counter. Oh yeah, Dudley is essentially a, a, a champion... Today. A champion of, like, Bonk. the... <laughs> of the... Good, of the... Good knowledge, God. Nice to get above <laughs> it all, isn't it? I see. And I don't remember where I'm going. I'm just following. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows. Just yes, the lore master dedication. For my taste. And the redeemer <laughs> cause <laughs> for it's like champion. So the redeemer cause is forward, neutral good. Your cause drives you to be situation. compassionate, kind, and full of hope and forgiveness. You gain the glimpse of redemption, champion's reaction, and the lay on ha hands, champion power. Your Paladin code consists of tenants of good, followed by these tenants. You must first try to redeem or rehabilitate those who commit evil acts, rather than immediately killing them or meting out undeserved punishment. However, if they choose to continue on a wicked path, you might need to take more extreme measures, especially if innocence would come to harm. And you must show compassion for others, regardless of their authority or station. Like, the champion, the better version oh, of bollocks. <laughs> what? I'm about to get already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand Nailed by what? Woo! Oh crap. There we go. I was like, how do I get down? And where have you two been? Awkward. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for that, today. That kid looks like he's on something. I don't know what. I, yeah. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. I did say Shut I didn't up. want to. That was some rather good fly. But the game doesn't really give you much choice, so hey. Yeah. Sorry about yeah, my business with Kagawa. Champion's yeah, definitely a lot better than Paladin from it. previous editions. True. Because you can cho you can choose what type of like champion you are, and they, instead of just being restricted to, you know, lawful good for paladin or chaotic evil for anti paladin in the old, you know, they did create some variants of it. They did have the freedom and the tyrant ones in first edition Pathfinder, but now they have one for all. Like, uh, 
for six you can, different alignments. Wish I could. I recommend visiting for all the good, good and evil. Got the anti paladin, anti paladin, chaotic evil, desecrator, neutral evil, liberator, chaotic good, paladin, lawful good, redeemer, neutral good, and tyrant, lawful evil. Uh, the glimpse of redemption is one of those, is a defensive reaction. So it's like if the uh, if it has to be an enemy damages uh, an ally that uh, who is within fifteen feet of you, and also the enemy is also oh, within fifteen feet of you. I've not forgot about they have to I make your enemy has to make a choice. Either the a ally that it attacked. Of yours takes no damage, or it gains resistance to all damage equal to two plus your level. And after the damaging effect is applied, the enemy becomes enfeebled too until the end of the next turn. <laughs> like, oh, you attack my buddy? Okay, either you don't hurt them. Or you hurt them less, and you're gonna be uh, enfeebled. The mm. choice is yours. The choice is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Props to those who get that reference. Sounds familiar. As an old Disney flick, Peter Pan. A flick, it's like. It's like one of their like major animations one, but I think I, know, again, I haven't I seen that the one. Term flick doesn't fly. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that was a little fairy dust and happy thoughts. Why did I go there? I didn't want to go there. But yeah, that's a little bit. Is that Dudley's a fairy educated orc? Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Now I can get access to Confringo. On the other hand... Oh, I got mm. time. Hmm. I will be right back. I need, I'm gonna end this episode here. Because it occurred to me... You can help me. Well, I've got an hour before my next D&D campaign starts. About two hours. But at the same time, I want to get something to... Yeah. Are you running or playing? Mm hmm. You running or playing it? Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> that took a second to process. I was like, what are you talking about? Right. <laughs> well, have fun. Oh, absolutely. Need to make sure to save the game. Okay, that just does that. Go away. I will end the stream.